Bioshock 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Bioshock 2 Minerva's Den. On the last episode we made our way to Operations. So we are now actually in a new map which kind of threw me for a loop if I'm honest. I really, I really kind of thought that it was just that one map which now in retrospect I guess it was way too short but we are in a new map and there's all sorts of fun stuff to see. We've only went this branch so far but I think the next pressing thing would be this corpse in the room. Uh, we've got a really good opportunity to deal with the corpse, especially if the... Especially if the doors are still shut. Because like, it wants me to go through here. Is the door that was on this side over here still shut? Because I think it was, like, locked, wasn't it? Or is it open? Yeah, it's locked. So that's kind of good. If we get the corpse now... Um, then it probably won't be able to cause us some issues. Seems good. I hear... I hear a camera. I just want to make sure it's the one that... <laughs> that I've already dealt with. Oh, hey! Look at this. After some searching, I made contact with Charles Milton Porter in Minerva Den. A productive exchange. Clearly, Rapture is no place to continue my research. But Porter says that if he can find a way to return to the surface, along with the programming for his mainframe, we could then rebuild the machine and work together towards the cure. I have located an Alpha series to assist him. Subject Sigma. I must return to the surface. If Sigma is successful in Minerva's den, and the cure for Adam's curse is on its way. It is only a matter of time. That's me! Da and I'm in Minerva's den. That's the thing I'm doing. All right, uh, let's, uh, that I can't full up on those. Um, all right, if I'm going to deal with this, I guess it's now or never. Um, I could set up some traps, but lately I haven't really needed that. I think I'm just going to hold my own until... Um, I get to a, a Brute Splicer, and then my plan is going to be to use up my rocket ammo. If, if, I, if I do that, I think I'll be in good shape. And maybe also a mini turret, because I usually tend to have so many. So let's do some bees. Just kind of chill back here and wait for them to come around the corner, maybe. Seem like they are very unhappy with the bees. The bees are still going. I'm going to Oprah Winfrey these guys to death. Oh, and the turrets over here. I may not have to do much of anything. Ta-da! I was here the whole time. I'm going to say there's the brute. And that's the fire brute. I'm just going to let her keep doing her thing, honestly. I think that's the... Probably the wisest decision I could make in this particular instance. Because she's going to finish up, and then I'll deal with the brute. And the turret only lasts a certain amount of time, but uh, it's still here right now. Let's do this. Ooh, Where'd the brute go? Why? It wouldn't uns it wouldn't despawn him, would it? Did it? Get out. No, it didn't. <laughs> there he is. I was like, where'd that guy go? Oh god! Hi, buddy. Rude. Woo! Wow, he still came at me. I guess you could say he's fiery. Or passionate. One, you know, either one would work, but the, the, other, one, the other one made more sense for what I was going for. Um, okay, cool. So we're not going up that way, but I did take care of one of the gathers. Uh, so things are already looking good. Is that the remnants of the thing bouncing up and down? Kind of weird that they don't last forever, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. Why not? Why don't they just last until they're gone? 
It doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, spear gun. This is the way we're going. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure, literally the only way we can go at the moment, so let's do it. You look like you are actually dead. Yes, you are. I was briefly concerned, but you are actually dead. I hear a brute. I'm just not sure which direction. They're either on the other side of this wall or they were in that room, but I think they're up here somewhere. Go find it. Oh, I couldn't find anything. Okay. See, that's actually what that like there was uh, in the in the base game there was like recon or something. I never used it. You don't even need it. Just set out, send some bees out. I'll do your work for you. Okay. What's up, bud? Boom. One of five. Oh, I must have missed one in the other area. Solid slug, anti-personnel damage, and penetrates multiple stuff. Upgraded rivet gun. Haven't even really been using this, but magazine size and damage output have been increased. Well, at least it's more viable. I, see, I upgraded mine really quickly in the base game and used it to set folks on fire, which is why I ended up loving it so much in the in the main game. Because it was, like, I think one of the first upgrades I, I really worked towards. And I haven't been using it a whole lot here, and I, I think it makes sense that I haven't. First thing I should do it makes the most sense. Is this, because that's going to call, um, that's going to call bots to help me deal with that, <laughs> those problems. Uh, then setting, just yeah, there to there to go. I knew it was going to happen. And if they come this way, I can, um, I could actually use them and hack them. So that would be good too. But I'm thinking. Maybe just sending some bees in. Can I shoot that thing from here? That's a brute! Okay, so I was... It, it looked kind of like a brute. I've never seen a brute control a bot before. That's... Really different. This might be one of the rare situations where I actually want to do this. And I'm invisible again, so now we're going to cause some problems. There's a turret in the other side of the room, too. So I'm getting a good layout of, of, of the room and figuring out exactly how I want to approach this. Um, and honestly, I think the answer is going to be use use insects, go in with the rocket launcher again, because I still have plenty of ammo with that. Well, plenty's probably kind of... I don't know if that's the correct word at this point. They also do heavy rivets, maybe. But the launcher's just so effective. All right, here's, here's, here's what we're going to do. And I'm calling in more stuff. Insect swarm. It's dancing, Daddy. Dancing. Oh, son of a Kill it. Is he dead? He might just be dead. Go. How'd we do? Pretty good? It's like it's like the um. It's like the Sentinels destroying the Flood from Halo. That's what this this entire scene looks like. That went uh, that went pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna have to be careful using up all this rocket ammo though, because if I get if I get into a real pickle, then I'm gonna be in trouble. Because like he was standing in a pool of water, I definitely could have handled that differently. And in retrospect, maybe I should have, but too late now. Um, let's switch back over to this. We've got some close range stuff I could probably deal with here. Um, I'm also thinking I'll probably... Oh, right here. oh. hi. Forgot. Uh, do do do, wrong one. Here we go. There we go. 
You're on my side. Uh, that will make the gather a lot easier. And I've got a camera, so this isn't actually going to be that bad. Um, this definitely could be a, a lot worse. I think I heard someone scream. But I don't see them. Kind of thinking about dealing dealing with this before I get too far in here. I keep hearing a voice. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Let's uh let's hack this. Yikes. Uh do 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 yes. Alright, got some money. This is worthless, is there? I am only interested in ammo bandito. Show me to the nearest ammo bandito. And I will gladly spend my currency, good sir. Anything less than Ammo Bandito is unacceptable. There's nothing up here. All right. Um, I think... Yeah, honestly, with the... T I don't really even need to put down the mini turret. I've got a real turret and a, and a frickin' camera. I should be able to handle this right after I... Pray to the god of quick saves. Um, taking a look here. How do I want to approach this? I think I'm, I think for the most part, in this particular situation, I think I'm just going to stay quiet. Going to get close, be invisible. I'm in the way of the turret. Careful. There we go. Managed to be invisible. So I got a turret on my side. I've got a camera over there. I'm just keeping an eye on the girl, making sure everything stays okay. It didn't, it didn't last. Get out of here. We were a splicer trying to heal with a health station. Oh! Apparently I left one of those around. Well, I gotta keep this thing in tip-top shape. Hack to turn them into traps. Well, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? But I didn't, so that's where we're at. Thank God I've got six shells in this now. Let me get a Houdini in here. Son of a pisser. Where are you, where are you at? <laughs> Shut up. Really? That many shells? I guess I wasn't particularly close. Daddy, I'm ready. I was really expecting a brute. We didn't get one. I guess the Houdini was what they decided to send our way. Which, uh, hey, I'll take that. It's a heck of a lot easier. Okay, uh, all the money, all the dollars, all the stuff, stuff, stuff. And, uh, not a whole lot of it I can even use. That guy's still on my side, which is nice. Um, and up here, I can still hear people talking. There's a first aid kit. I'm going to go ahead and use mine so I can grab that one, because I will forget about that one fast. And you're done, sweetheart, so you get to go home. Rest well, or whatever it is you do in the pipe. Cool. Thank you. Right, that's one of three. Looking pretty good otherwise. Um, haven't seen <laughs> haven't seen my ammo bandito. Um, I'm gonna use the rivet gun. It's it's upgraded now, so it should be a little more effective. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna want to get in there. So let's go. Shroop, throw that over there. Boom. Okay, that on the man on the loudspeaker, does that mean he also calls people in here? It doesn't look like it, so I'm probably good there. There's definitely a camera around here. I have to be careful of that. I keep getting three and four mixed up and it's throwing me off. Didn't get all blues, but it's something. Spear gun. No. Uh rivet gun. Keep out. Property of Reed Wall. Oh my god, there's so many cameras! Are you kidding me? Ow! <laughs> Dang it. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Good enough. Uh, and rivet gun. Okay. This is, uh, this is a good little trap area, to be honest. Um, there are so many stinking cameras here. Uh, ow, that was bad. 
That was worse. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, are you serious? Wow, that was... <laughs> that was pitiful, and I didn't even get the blue, so I don't even get the thing from it. Incredible. Could have at least used that time to grab the bots, I guess. Uh, alright, so I've got like a million paths I can go right now, but this room is in my favor. This just goes around. That's weird. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Again, one, the one thing I've really enjoyed about this DLC is that every single room has got something incredible in it. And this is going to be another situation that is the same. In fact, this has got a safe, so it's got valuables and supplies. It's got lore, and it's got either plasma or a tonic. This is the best room ever. We haven't been in a room this good in yet. How we met. Let's get this first. Hardy machines. Oh, a hacked turther bot can be your greatest friend. Make that friendship last longer with a new Hardy machines tonic. So this will be good if I go for security command two. Um which I used a lot in the main game. Uh, I really like that tonic. Uh, I just... Well, this is hacking a turret or bot. And I would be summoning them. So this actually wouldn't... I ended up turning this off at some point in the LP because I had been summoning them. So... Mm, I really like the ones I got right now. Spoo Sound is the one that I'm like, eh, about. But at least I have Hardy Machine in case I want it later. How we met. Continuing input of audio data into the Thinker's database. Subject, Pearl Porter. I want to tell the recorder how we met, Milton. Okay. Sure. I was working in my family's diner. School was starting for the fall. And one morning, in walks this college boy. Clean cut. First thing I noticed was his eyes. He sat down and ordered bacon, eggs, and coffee. He was shy, but we talked a little off and on. He came in every single morning for breakfast and ordered the same thing. I told my mama, that boy must really love your cooking. She said, he isn't coming in for the food, honey. He's coming in for you. A year later, we were married. No, that's a sweet story. Creating, you know, a digital wife is yeah, a little weird, but also I can under... I, I can relate somewhat. I mean, you if you love someone times a million and they're gone, um, you would want that back. So I, you know, can't fault him on that too much. Let's go around here. I guess this is the... This is, this is his office. So I'm like, eh. I think I'd rather... I'm going to explore the other side first. Reedwall's office is where it ultimately wants me to go, and that place seems scurry. Corpses in here. This is data processing. You dead? Open up, I knew you weren't dead. Gosh darn it! I gotta trust my instinct a little bit more, but I'm pretty good at headshots, so we did okay. <laughs> I, the guy just didn't look like a corpse. I mean, everybody in Rapture looks like a corpse, but you know he was—he was—he was a little more upright than he should have been. I thought. Maybe that the uh, the game would have given me a red reticle though, and it and it didn't. So I trusted it, and then I was like, ah, you, you screwed me. So I'll have to trust my instincts a little bit more next time. Look at all this stuff that you could probably throw with telekinesis. Seems useful. Anti personnel rounds. Do extra. D Is that for the machine gun? Wait. Where do the anti personnel rounds? Four. That's that was the machine gun ammo, right? Because we don't have, unless we picked it up and I wasn't paying attention. We don't have a machine gun. You know what that means? It means we're about to get a freaking machine gun somewhere. Yeah, there's all sorts of machine. This, this is wild. This is this is honestly like, if you enjoyed Bioshock 2, you're gonna love this game. That's really cool. All right. Um, I'm a little worried to hack this one, to be real honest with you. Ouch. Fart. Just buy it out. How much was it? I had the money. 
tired of dealing with these things and it's, it puts me on edge. The only advantage is that if I screw it up, I could get the bots to come and, and hack them. But I'm thinking I might do security command anyway, and then it's going to be irrelevant. Look at these checks. Yeah, I was kind of expecting the machine gun to be in here, but it might be like upstairs or something. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm taking my rivet gun and I'm going upstairs, baby. Which was here. I hear people. Kill them with bees. Just waiting for the screaming. Did it work? More bees? More bees. I get a free bot. Awesome. That's the... Yeah, <laughs> that must suck, huh? Uh, yeah, that's the best way to get bots. Honestly, is is if you stumble across someone that's just chilling. Uh, cool. I need you in my life. Kim! Hi! Welcome to the fold. And you're good. And here's another vending machine. Um, not an ammo bandito, but still, I'll take it. This one didn't have a blue, so I didn't get anything... What? Felix Burnbaum's office key? Well, that's... different. Um... Do I have to buy this key? I might. What's it say? Some of the boys in the code pit whipped up a real doozy of an entertainment. Monitor screen hooked into a sort of tiny airplane cockpit, yeah? And that's swell, because what shows up on screen is an X, that's you, and a bunch of O's, like a Spitfire surrounded by a squadron of Jap Zeros. You fly your little X around and shoot them down one after another. The wall caught us at it one night, called it a waste of time. I don't know. On balance, ain't it better to change what's on the screen than just stare at it? Oh, someone wanted to play, huh? Thanks, Kim, you're the best! And I didn't want to grab that gun while the uh, thing was going. There we go, and I'll go ahead and refuel. And that was good timing. If I can yeah, grab telekinesis here. Perfect. Perfect timing. Back to my bees. There we go. I have the upgraded machine gun. The damage upgrade makes each bullet hit harder, and the recoil reduction upgrade keeps the barrel steady while you fire. And so, was this in the first section? feel like it wasn't. I feel like it definitely wasn't, but, you know, maybe it was. Let's see, lead head splicer. So how many... So this is gun eight. Weird. And I guess there's quite a few guns that, like, you don't have to get them in any particular order, you know? Like, whatever you stumble across next is just the one that you'll have next. So this is closed. Milk money. Hey, Felix. I hear Porter is really happy about the new trajectory calculation routine. You know, the one that we worked on for six months? The one you took all the credit for? Oh, that reminds me. If you're looking for the key to your brand new office, you might want to check in the Circus of Values down the hall. Hope you brought your milk money, asshole. My wallet's full, and I just threw the money over there. Uh, okay, so it looks like you do have to buy the key, which is a really clever idea, honestly. Um, I'm not really angry about that at all. So, let's use this opportunity to get into this office and find out what on earth is in here. Interestingly enough, there is people in- there are people in here. Sorry, I'm just in here for the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all! Anybody home? There's a few things. Ma'am, please do not move. I'm a professional. Killer. Nothing personal. You would have done the same to me. How we doing? Aw, oh, Lovelace. I love how all the cats have names. Uh, behind the scenes. We make it all run. The brains in those bots and cameras, that's us. 
automatic bathysphere navigation, calculating genetic probabilities for new plasmids, help regulating water pressure so this place ain't a fish tank. It's all Rapture Central Computing. Not that we get the recognition. <sighs> Funny thing about living in the city tomorrow, everybody takes it for granted. Is there anything here I'm missing? Not really. It looks like it's all going to come down to this stupid thing. I've had to buy these out because they're starting to get really tough. Ah, shoot. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Dang it. Woo, it's fine. I was trying to chase that one down and hack it. Kim, are you okay? You need help, buddy? I'm gonna get another one. Gotcha. That's right, pal. Diego! And Kim. Apparently the bots won't fight with each other, which is nice. Uh, that will make this a little easier to swallow. Since I had to pay $250 to even get into this room. And I essentially... It looks like I essentially did it for lore. Um, because I don't think there's anything really... Anything else really of interest here? I did get to see the cat, and that was kind of nice. Anyway, uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next episode, we'll continue into... It looks like we're going into Reedwall's office. So we're probably going to learn something. I'm not sure what it is, but that's our next objective, and that looks like it's the only place left to go. I'm excited, slightly worried, but at least I have Oprah Winfrey's Power of Bees. See you next time for more Stephen Plays, Bioshock 2, Minerva's Den.